Hey guys, so welcome back. I hope you're all really well. I have a home video for you today. I haven't done one of these for a while. I have a few new additions around the place. Nothing major as of yet, but I have a few furniture pieces and then a few little decor things. And I love watching home videos and I'm sure you guys do as well. So I'm gonna show you some of the little bits that I can pick up, but also I'm gonna give you a few little peeks around the house where everything else is living. So there are three rooms that I've kind of been concentrating on recently, the lounge, the bedroom and the bathroom. You guys probably would have seen some of my bathroom in my recent videos, but I'm gonna start with my bedroom because I have a new bed coming soon, which I'm really excited about. I will show you guys that when it turns up. Finally, it's been about six weeks in the making, but I wanted a few new bits to accessorize it with, some new pillows and things. I love buying pillows, who doesn't really? So I have a couple of new ones, starting with this fluffy awesomeness. So this is from Oliver Bonus, um, probably the most I've ever spent on a fluffy cushion, but I saw that Susie had one of these and it's kind of different because if you turn it over, it's round. I haven't come across any round fluffy cushions. All the ones that I do have are square. And this was a little bit smaller too. I liked that it was a bit kind of more compact, um, but I like this one. I love the color. It's very subtle kind of taupey pink. It's almost somewhere between lavender, lilac and pink. It's currently sitting on my pink chair in the bedroom. And I think those two colors go together really nicely. On that chair as well, I have another cushion. This one is a similar color actually. If I hold the two up together, you can see this one is slightly lighter, but this one is still a really nice kind of taupey, lilac-y, pinky colour. This is actually from H&M Home. I think they do amazing cushions and just amazing everything else when it comes to homeware, but I do really like their cushions. They're super affordable and it's a nice size. I think it fits really nicely, again, on my pink velvet chair. It doesn't overpower it and I think it looks really nice with the fluffy one. I love velvet anyway. I love velvet everything. One day my dream is to have a pink velvet sofa, but we'll see, we'll see about that. I've lived in this house for getting on two years now, and there's a lot of big walls and kind of empty spaces, and I really haven't spent a lot of time thinking about prints and dressing them, but now is the time, it seems. As you can see, this one, this massive print, I've had since Christmas and I've only just hung it, but I absolutely love it. That one is also from Oliver Bonus, if anybody was wondering. So the two I have in the bedroom are from Decenio. I think I'm saying that right, I'm probably not. I went for the Namaste in bed print, which I thought was the perfect thing to actually hang over my bed. And it's very simple. I went for a black frame with that one. So the other print that I have, which is a portrait style one, the other one I have, Landscape, is a kind of take on Chanel, Coco Chanel. It says Coco and I think it says I don't do fashion or I do fashion or something like that. Um, but again, I love the simplicity of it. It's very minimal. So love those prints. I have a couple more around the house as well, um, but those are definitely some of my favorites. And then the final thing in the bedroom which is kind of new is a plant. I can't believe that I've actually brought not one but quite a few plants into my house recently. I'm not great with living things. This one is called a mother's tongue though I believe and they are quite easy to take care of. They don't need a lot of watering, they don't need a lot of maintenance, they just kind of sit there um, and I really like it. It's a nice pop of green in the room. I've also read that that one is supposed to be really good for the air and just kind of refreshing it and keeping it healthy um, which I think is nice to have in the bedroom. I actually ordered that one online which I think is amazing. I was so pleased with how it came, it was perfect, exactly what I wanted. Um, but I find it really hard to find the types of plants that I like, unless I'm kind of trawling around various different garden centers and things like that. The planter that I have that one in is another H&M home find. It's a really pretty kind of off pink color. It's kind of quite earthy, but it definitely has a hint of pink in it. Um, and the paint is almost kind of slightly marbled on it. I really like the effect of that. So those are all the new bits that I have in the bedroom. And then if we move across the hall into the bathroom, this room I like to keep very, minimal, very muted, not a lot of color in it. I find it just makes it a much more calming space and it's become a space that I really like to spend a lot of time in. So the biggest change for me, um, and one that I'm so happy that I made, um, was to get a big set of chest of drawers in there. Now, I know not everybody has a lot of space in the bathroom. I'm quite lucky to have a large bathroom, which I think used to be a bedroom before it was converted. I used to have quite a lot of shelves with loads of things out. I have a lot of beauty products doing what I do, so they were just scattered 
everywhere and they just made everything look so untidy and disorganized. So everything now lives inside the drawers and I will be showing you kind of what exactly is inside there in my clear out series. The next one of those is coming up on Friday so keep an eye out for that. But basically all my skincare lives in there, anything else that I need in the bathroom, body stuff, hair stuff, it's just so so handy. Um, so I love that, I think it's a really beautiful chest and drawers too. It's just from Ikea, it's from the Hemnes range. I have a few bits from that range dotted around the place but those chest of drawers I think are gorgeous. And on top of that I wanted to keep things very minimal again, nothing too cluttered, not many products or anything out. So I have three things. Oh, I have them here, I can show you. My favorite of the three definitely has to be this mirror. This I actually got in next. I was so pleased with myself when I found this. Or oh, you can see my um, collection of alcohol reflecting from the bar cart. So this style of mirror, the marble stand with the kind of twisty round mirror at the top, I'd seen quite a lot on Pinterest and places like that. So I found this online. Originally this was silver, so the frame I actually spray painted gold. It was kind of simple actually, I just put some masking tape around it, popped the mirror out of the base um, and then put everything back together again. Highly recommend having some spray paint in the house because it can instantly change the look of something. And I think this looks really nice now that it's gold. It kind of fits the theme of the rest of the bathroom. Also this base is not real marble, it's plastic. But the marble effect is really, really good. Some faux marble items can look kind of just really, really fake and cheap, but I think this one is nice. I also have another marble piece on there. This one is actually real marble. Um, and you can see it doesn't look that much different to the mirror. This is another piece from Oliver Bonus. So it's got a little gold um, handle on the top and it's just a plain box. It's pretty big, you can fit a lot in here, but I keep my jewelry and my hairbands, earrings, all the kind of stuff that I wear on a daily basis, I just throw in here and then I can go back in the morning and put them on again. So I love how this looks and I think it really kind of finishes off the whole table as well. So another thing that I think H&M Home are really, really great for are baskets. They do so many different kinds of these, different shapes, different colors. I have quite a few. Um, so I got this one, which is in this kind of matte gold effect, which matches the mirror and then the little pot, just to finish off the top of the chest of drawers. I was planning on putting maybe like bath bombs and products and things like that in here, and I might still do that if I have any. But for now, it's housing another planter, another plant that I have in the bathroom. That planter is also from H&M. It's a very simple kind of honeycomb effect, but I kind of like the way it looks inside this little basket. Um, I might end up moving it, but I think these are just so useful for anything really. And then the last room that I've been adding a few new bits to is the lounge. This one's probably the more dramatic one because I have a big piece of new furniture in here. One that I am so, so happy with. I think it is my favorite find I've ever made in HomeSense. Uh, it's a pink and gold velvet chair. It's really soft velvet, it's scalloped at the back, it has amazing gold legs. It's just everything that I've always wanted in a chair. It's quite big as well, so it's super cozy. If I sit on it, I can really tuck my legs up and just get very comfortable. And I have a big sofa in the lounge, but I've kind of been missing having an armchair or just another chair for people to sit in there when they come around. So I think that one is perfect for that. It's sitting in the corner right now. I might move it around in the future, but I really like it where it is now. It's kind of become my little reading nook. I sit there quite a lot. I've seen similar chairs to it online um, from places like Jonathan Adler and West Elm um, which are so expensive usually over a thousand pounds and this one I got for under 200 which I think is so good so it definitely pays to pop into HomeSense as often as you can if you have one nearby. So let's go back to pillows um, or should I say cushions I think these are more like cushions than pillows. I wanted some more kind of more earthy looking rustic prints and colors, my words are failing me. Um, but I went for three different ones, um, and the first of which is this. This is kind of a, it's almost like blue polka dot actually, although it looks a bit more black or gray if you're further away, but I love polka dot cushions. Um, so this one is a cushion cover from H&M. So I have one of these that kind of sits in the middle of the sofa, um, and then I have two of these ones. They're kind of very canvassy feeling. They feel a little bit rougher, and they're still super comfortable, really soft and squishy, but they have this black, design on them. Again, I think they're really simple, but they still have that kind of vibe. Someone please tell me the word I'm looking for to describe this type of decor style. 
um, but I really like these ones so I have two of those. And then the final two are this, I want to say this is pink, although it is very browny, earthy again. It has a hint of pink and I thought they tied together really nicely, so I have two of these. Um, these are from Urban Outfitters and they're a little bit different, they're not as soft as the H&M ones, they're kind of slightly harder. I think the three of those together, the three different patterns look really great on the sofa. I also just have an old grey throw, which I think is from Primark actually. One of the best things I've ever bought in Primark, that throw. Um, so that kind of just sits on the back of the sofa and ties everything together. So I have a plant as well in the lounge, there is a plant in literally every single room now. This one is probably my favourite one though, it's a cheese plant which is called there is a more technical name for it, which begins with M. I think it's a monstura plant, monstura plant. They're the super kind of classic fern leaf shape, which I have on a lot of different things. I have some faux leaves here, and even this little gold thing up here is in the shape of one of the monstera leaves. I ordered this one online along with the one in my bedroom. It's doing okay, it's probably the one that I need to give a little bit more love and attention to. It sits in a corner at the moment so I think that might be the reason it's not as healthy as it could be but I still think it looks great. And I have that in a kind of white origami style planter. And then the whole plant and everything sits on top of a little gold three-legged table, which I actually found in Sainsbury's for about 15 pounds. I was shocked when I saw that. I think Sainsbury's do some really good homeware stuff. So it's always worth looking at their homey bits while you're there. So last thing I have to show you are these coasters. <laughs> I love a coaster, I think they are so underrated and I don't often use coasters for putting glasses on, I think they're so great to have candles on top of, vases, any little ornaments and knickknacks and things like that, I just like to put coasters underneath them. Um, these are, I think they're kind of like a marble effect, they're white stone, um, but the edges they have this copper paint on them, not massively into copper anymore, I think it was definitely a trend that at the time I loved and I was all about but kind of over the years it's not held up as much as I thought it would so I've been replacing a lot of the copper things in my house with just gold which I think is a lot more classic but I did love these, I think they're really pretty and they're a bit more subtle than bright copper all over coasters. <laughs> yeah, so these two I actually use for candle holders. I have a candle sitting on a shelf on this one and a candle sitting on my shoe cupboard on this one. Um, I think they look so pretty that way and they did come in a set of four. So I have the other two somewhere around the house. I think one of them is being used as a proper coaster, but most of the time I use these for other things. So those are all my new home additions. I hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do like these kind of more homey style homework haul type of videos. Um, and I will definitely have a look at that and make some more if you do like them. I'm thinking about maybe doing a few room tours soon. So again, tell me below in the comments if you wanna see those and which room in particular you would like to see me do first. So that is it from me today. Thank you guys all so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.